Hello, Boost Freaks. How are you? I'm Dr. Ankh. And I'm Dr. Inkwell. Today we're going to talk about how to do a good infusion, and then we'll make a cocktail later. If you muddle parsley with simple syrup, the, the parsley will turn brown because it oxidizes. The oxygen gets into the parsley and turns it brown much in the way that pears or apples brown when they oxidize in the atmosphere after you cut them. There is another way you can do this, thanks to Dave Arnold and Liquid Intelligence. If you put your parsley into uh, a higher alcohol spirit, you won't have quite the same problem. Uh, we're gonna throw the parsley into the blender and if we add some vodka and make sure that the parsley stays below the vodka line, you can also use citrus with this because citrus also prevents oxidization like when you put lemon juice on your apples or something like that. I wanna make sure that the parsley is down below the line of the vodka and is soaked in it before I start blending. So I'm gonna go immediately to high and try to get that parsley torn to pieces as quickly as possible so that it doesn't have a chance to really interact with the oxygen. I think that qualifies as pieces, don't you, Dr. Inko? Uh, very much, many pieces. Such parsley. Much vodka. Delicious. Fresh. So we're gonna demonstrate here a little bit of muddling with simple syrup. And it doesn't really matter the proportion because it's just to show you the final result. So go ahead and muddle that. So let's take a look at the final result here. First, strain the vodka. It's so pretty. It's very pretty. So let's take a look at what our muddler end product ended up giving us. And we have a vaguely green, simple syrup. And we can see how much greener the vodka byproduct is over the simple syrup one, which is much browner. So, over the course of a couple of hours, it will begin to clarify. You'll get a little bit of sediment on the bottom. You can strain that out with a coffee filter if you want it to be super clear. I certainly did that when I did this yesterday. And you can see how nice it becomes. Um, you do want to use this relatively quickly because your parsley taste is going to fade over time. Um, but if you make a drink with this immediately, it's delicious. You can do this with mint leaves. You could do this with any other sort of interesting herb that you want to play with. Chervil, onions even. Wow. Spring onions would be fun. Something savory, possibly for a Bloody Mary, something of that nature. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this is a great method to get a really fresh infusion, especially if you're going to make a large batch of cocktails for a party or something. This really works better with leaves, with fresh leaves. So if you're going to use mint or parsley or basil. something like that, basil would be great. Enjoy the blender method. <laughs>